Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Giving God all the glory. Welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. My name is Anthony Daniels. Today we're coming out of the book of Luke, the 8th chapter and the 15th verse. That's Luke 8 and 15. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Again, <clears throat> but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Again, this is, this is a continuation of the, of the prayer of the sower. And he's sowing the word. And it talks about falling on good ground. So how do you know when you receive the word if, if it's, if it's going to take, if it's good ground? And the key here is, which in an honest and good heart, again, which in an honest and good heart, coming to Christ has to be a heartfelt feeling, a heartfelt commitment. It doesn't have to be a feeling, really. You may not feel it, but it has to be a heartfelt commitment. You, you cannot... You cannot receive God's word and just think about it, but just hope that it works out. You have to feel in your heart a love for God. And once it starts to, once it starts to, to grow in your heart, it takes root. That's what it means. Having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. See, God's word has to affect your heart. It's not a mind thing. You can't just think about it. You have to seriously want to serve God. You have to seriously want to be saved. And no matter what your condition is, once you allow your desire to find Christ to become heartfelt, then it will happen. It will happen. You know, a lot of, we see a lot of people who become Christians, and like, the, the, like, this, like this parable says, they fall away. You know, cares and worries. Here, it takes fruit, takes root in the heart. And it says, it's bring forth fruit with patience. And that's another thing. Uh, in some cases, some people, they'll be like Paul. You know, they'll meet Jesus, and there'll be an instant change in their lives. Or it'll be very quick. Um, <clears throat> I think when me, my life changed, I was able to quit doing things and stop doing things within like a month or two. And I was totally seeked in living a life that was dedicated to God. And, my, and, my, and uh, my life started bearing fruit. Some people are quicker than that. Some people are long. But it says, bring forth fruit with patience. One thing that I realized as a young Christian, that I had to be patient. I didn't, you know, a lot of times we want to rush things. We want to rush what we, what we feel we can do for God. What we feel we can bring to God's platform. But God may not be ready for us to get on this platform. He may, he may not be ready for us to go to work. And he's not ready because he hasn't got us where we want to be. So we have to have patience in this process. Now, what, what, what you can't do is you can't make up excuses of why things aren't happening the way you want them to happen. You have to believe in God. You have to have faith in what you're taking on. And you have to know that God has you. And even as situations don't seem to be changing, know that God is now walking with you through that situation. And just pray for his peace and his joy. Sometimes God will take you through things a little harder than you expect, a little longer than you expect, because he wants you to really realize what he's doing in your life. What he's doing in your life. You know, sometimes when... Uh, when I'm up against hard times or things are coming against me, I, I say, you know, I don't know why I'm going through this. But I know I have victory on the other end, and I know I'm going to come out a better Christian. That's what you got to realize. That when you go through things with Christ, you will come out a strong kid, uh, Christian. You will come out with more faith. See, if God would have told Abraham to take his son up and sacrifice him, before he did, Abraham wouldn't have done that. And Abraham would have never known the type of faith he could have in Christ Jesus. And God is doing the same thing with you. He's waiting to get you at that point where you can realize how much you can trust him. And when you get there, then he's going to test you. 
When you pass a test, you're going to know you've arrived. And just keep the faith. Let it be heartfelt. And be patient. And that's all the time that I have. And God bless you. God loves you. And I love you too. Have a great, wonderful day.